on African football and African footballers so prevalent now on the world stage. And now 14 African nations congregate, all hungry and vying for success. Winner takes all, and I'm sure this opener will be an intriguing game. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. And we rise now for the Egyptian national anthem. Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this. So the teams are ready to go as we all bask just for a moment in that special feel good factor. We tend only to get on days like this. You know, I think that's true, Peter. I think fans and players alike need to, to change every so often and a different feel from the standard routine and this creates a whole new excitement and let's get to it. the whistle and here we go who do you think this turns on Jim yeah Mohamed Salah and it's mainly because of his frightening pace he's a huge threat when he's running at defenders but whistle's gone that's a foul he gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now yeah and he has to change his ways or this referee towering header Great early ball, can't be set for a finish. In this game, we're always striving to, to gain an advantage or produce a surprise element of things. And the quicker the delivery, I think, the more chance you have. And they should have done better there. Neom. Deftly done. He's had a goal! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Massive leap! Good attempt, the wrong outcome. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. And they've been caught out here. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Referee's given a throw. He's got away. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Nicely controlled. There are a few waiting for it. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Many. Egypt, yet to have a shot on target. Here it comes. Certain amount of room for debate here, but a goal kick's been given.
Gone out for a throw in. Neon. Neon has been caught there, it's a foul. Goalkeeper's <laughs> call. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? There's a long ball. Neon. Samba and Kisa. It's the through ball. It's Salah! Great build-up. It all deserves a better ending. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Tried to play it through. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. And it's Salah. Salah and Gisa. Hoists it forward. Hit long and direct. Whipped in. Has a hit! It's in! And it's Cameroon who take the lead! That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, for me, that's just pure credit and brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Cameroon have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? I think they've gone about their business with the opener very much in mind, and this all goes well now. The whistle goes for half time. Here we are, as they go for half time, the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. Very, very they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. And they are already promptly back on the way. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Out to the right. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's played forward. It is quite a run he's making here. Gets away from his opponents. And then through to the goalkeeper. of lacking inventiveness here, it's all broken down. Tres again. Tries to dink it in. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. He's looked long this time. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. This isn't the time to talk about risks now. Goes for goal! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. And helps available out wide. Well, it seems obvious that... And he has been fouled there. He's 
gone for it. Well, he probably expected to do a lot better considering the position he was in. And that has put pay to that. Gets the better of his man. They're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. It's come loose. So not long left in this now. Egypt are staring a first-round exit in the eye. Mohamed Salah gets it out to the wing, and he's going long. Mohamed Salah... He's gone for it! There's a goal! They have stolen level at the last! And time and space are plenty, and he was never going to miss. Yeah, I really can't say enough this to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. So all square with almost no time remaining. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Well, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated. 90 minutes up and we will be back for extra time. I don't think either manager can run into play to really, because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal and it always lacked that spark. So to clarify, extra time will follow. No winner in 90, 30 more to come. Egypt did fantastically well to force extra time, having been on the brink of defeat in normal time. In fact, you could say they're the better off of the two teams. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. Let's be lenient here. I don't think they'll get too many more chances. Egypt seeking to maximise the moment. Oh, to pass or to shoot? That is his question. Eventually thwarted without doing any harm. And back to base. Gets it upfield. Well positioned to make that interception. Tries to stroke it through. He's got options out wide. To meet it! And that's it for the first half of extra time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most of the game now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not only less competitive. And so the last chance to find a winner. It has been a slugfest. Significant blows landed, but still no knockout with a delicate ball. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Sambo and Gisa gets it back. Salah. He's in, surely! Tries a shot! Egypt are 
are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Egypt go into the lead. That just goes to underline why they're in this position. The ability to grind out results when things aren't quite going to plan. The signs of a top team. Could move up a gear here. And here's Mohamed Salah. target. Mohamed Salah did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Forward it goes. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. That is it, the referee has seen enough. Egypt advance, or oh, stern tests await, no doubt. You look back on the game then, Jim. Well, the result matters more than the performance. This team can grind and keep grinding.